Hello and welcome. My name is Jess, otherwise known by my author moniker Jalem, and I'm the author of The Monster Inside Chronicles. I'm also, as you'll discover from this video, an author of some upcoming works. As those of you who have been following me know, I've been attempting to rewrite the first series of The Monster Inside Chronicles in preparation for publishing. I'm currently on draft three of that uh, rewrite and I'm hoping that that will be the last draft before the full-on editing process but that will depend on one thing that I can't spoil right now um, but you will hopefully hear about soon if you join my discord. Links to my discord and all my socials are in the description below if you're interested. However, in the meantime, I have been trying to keep up my presence on social media and also to keep up posts on my Patreon. Despite my efforts, my Patreon is still rather humble, so I have decided to introduce a new part to my Patreon that I like to call the Continuous Stories. In short, the Continuous Stories will be exclusively posted on my Patreon with the exception of teaser chapters. They will be long-term projects that I aim to publish at least one chapter a week for each of them. Uh, 20 to 50 percent of the works will be completely available to the public depending on the length. Uh, right now all teaser chapters are available for all three of the works and as of May 1st all currently written chapters will be available to you. That's right, three new works not attached to the Monster Inside world that both my readers and me can enjoy. But what helps me continue writing even more is your support. I'll be entirely honest and say that the first vampire series that I'm currently working on to rewrite was never intended to be as big as it currently is. I remember I posted the initial 20 chapters and about two weeks after I posted that, I woke up and overnight I'd gone from about 10 followers to over 200 and that blew me away with all the comments and likes and all that kind of stuff and it gave me a really big motivation to keep writing that story. And now it's about to be the first book that I have actually published. But you're right, I shouldn't just be asking you to go directly to my Patreon to, reading this, to read this work and all those kinds of things. That's kind of a bit rude and selfish. I've got to make sure that you're getting something in return. So... I thought I'd go over the stories a little bit just so that you could get an idea of what they're about and see if they're something for you. The first story we have up is called The Successor. Now some of you may have read this book before, it is one that I've previously posted on web novel um, but has been idle for quite some time. I've now taken it off web novel to post exclusively on my Patreon. It's also going to be the work with currently the most chapters up on my Patreon. However, it also has the shortest chapters of the three works. I should point out now that uh, I have read a lot of web novels over the past few years and these works have all been inspired by web novels that I have read. So, I've still tried to make them my own, obviously, I'm a writer, um, but you may see some correlations of where the inspiration came from. Anyway, the successor is based in an alternate world with similar technologies to our own, however their technology has developed through understanding of cultivation and the natural energies of the world. The premise is that a very long time ago, the greatest cultivator that ever lived, known as the Immortal God Emperor, died and his uh, nine most trusted companions were all given parts of his legacy. These nine subordinates all have clans that are descendants, uh, their descendants, and exist in the modern world. They have led the world in the immortal god emperor's absence. However, just because there was no immediate successor does not mean that there will never be one, which is something that the immortal god emperor himself promised. Enter our main character, Shan Kai Lan, who is born with natural cultivation talents exceeding the norm despite his parents' obvious humble origins. The story follows Kai Lan from humble origins up until when he takes up the mantle of the successor to the immortal god emperor. 
There are currently 34 chapters that are written, 10 of which will be available to the public from May 1st with updates nearly every week. Our second work is called The Atmos Chronicles. The Atmos Chronicles is a science fiction work, the prologue of which takes place in 2037, when the Earth is founded by an intergalactic empire and promptly folded into its regime. Our main character, Dayton Wayfinder, grows up in this changing Earth and has the goal of eventually becoming a space pilot. This is a goal, however, that he realises he won't be able to achieve on Earth. He will have to go off-world, and the only way to do that is get some high marks in the exams that he takes at 15, and then enter a military academy. In this world, all people going off-world or off of Earth uh, must have a gene enhancer injection in order for their bodies to better adapt to the space environment and other worlds. However, when Dayton has this gene enhancer, he discovers some secrets that have been long hidden by his ancestors. Regardless of the risk, Dayton still aims to go to a military academy and he encounters many cultures, technologies in their vastness of the intergalactic empire and beyond, and as well as dealing with his own problems. This one is sure to be a very vast space adventure with some action and a little bit of mystery thrown in there as well. The Atmos Chronicles is a previously unpublished work that will be exclusive to Patreon. There are currently 15 chapters written, five of which will be publicly available from May 1st. Finally, lucky number three, The Inheritor. Despite its synonymous name, The Inheritor has nothing to do with the successor. They are completely different stories. The Inheritor is based in an alternate world much like our own. The main character is called Serafina, or Sarah for short and she is a bastard child born to a very noble family bloodline. Thanks to this noble bloodline, she is taken in along with her mother, uh, but neither are treated very well thanks to her being a black mark on the family's name. One day, shortly after her 18th birthday, Sarah is called to a family meeting where a visitor from another world announces that their world has been chosen to join the Nine Heavens and they will have six years to become accustomed to this new world and environment before they are completely folded in. With this new opportunity to separate herself from her very oppressive family atmosphere, Sarah takes full advantage of the opportunity and strives to build a new home for herself. Only with someone of Sarah's talents, do you really think the Nine Heavens would really just leave her be to live her life? <laughs> of course not. This is the story of how Sarah builds her new home, meets new, pe meets new people and cultures, and builds her power to protect everything that she loves all while the Nine Heavens decides if she is to be a true inheritor. This story has not previously been published and will be exclusive to my Patreon. There are currently 14 chapters written, four of which will be publicly available from May 1st and will be updated nearly every week. Well, those are the introductions to my continuous stories. I hope that it has enticed some of you to come and check it out. As I said, there are plenty of chapters that will be publicly available and they will be updated on an almost weekly basis. This is because that I update based on the percentage of chapters and not based chapter by chapter. If you're willing to pay to get more of the works, I would be thrilled to have you on board. There are currently four tiers for my patrons, ranging from just two Australian dollars all the way up to 15 Australian dollars. But regardless of whether you pay or not, I would be happy to have you and any likes or comments on each of the chapter posts that you have. I would be absolutely so grateful for the interactions. Well, I feel like I've done my job here. I've Put it out there, I've let you all know, hopefully it'll trickle down the line somewhere. Drop a comment below uh, to let me know which work you are most excited for and why. That's all for now, 
I'll see you guys next time. Stay happy and healthy. Bye.